pathfinders and adventurers of uh, New Life SDA Church. We wish to thank our church for allowing us to get out of church uh, in the spirit of I will go to actually go to the community for service. Uh, we have come to Kajiado, a church called uh, Saikeri, which is actually a baby of New, new Life. Uh, and now it's uh, one of our, our Sabbath schools. It is very important to engage children in acts of community service instead of keeping them within the church compound year in, year out. And so, in the spirit, we have come to this place uh, so that we can feel the needs of this community. And one of the needs uh, for the community that uh, we've seen and which the church has, uh, has embraced is to uh, equip the community with education and this they have done by starting a school. Apart from uh, establishing, establishing a school in this place, we have also been sensitive to the other needs. Uh, one of the needs being uh, food shortage uh, in the area. This is a dry area and there's a frequent need for food. And uh, as a church, we've brought a lot of donations uh, for food, especially cereals. Apart from food, we've also brought clothing, uh, both for adults and for children, because uh, the community is generally very poor and uh, priorities doesn't cover clothing. So we've also brought clothing for them. Now, going forward, we know that uh, there are other needs that uh, we haven't uh, 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 sorted yet, one of them being water. The place is very dry and it is our plan bring or rather to uh, drill a borehole in this place so that the community can have water. It is our prayer that this will also help evangelize in this area because where there is water, it will tend to gather and as they gather for the water, we shall evangelize the area. Uh, it is our prayer that we shall get all the resources uh, because uh, putting up a borehole is not cheap but we are trusting uh, God for it. Now, the school has 48 people. We only have two classes, grade 1 and grade 2, but we are in need of more classes. The next year we are moving to grade 3. We also don't have preschool, so we need more classes as a school. And uh, we have other needs as a school. But something I would like to highlight today is uh, the school is more of a mission ground than just a school. The school has preached more than what uh, a sermon on a pulpit has done in this area. We have had five uh, families join our fellowship, our Zekeri Adventist uh, Church Sabbath School, uh, because of the students that we have in our school. And as a church, I know it's our mission to uh, spread the word of God. And if we use the school as one of the tools, I know we can reach way much more than we could have reached if we had preached from the pulpit. So as you give today, as you uh, consider to bless the, uh, the, the Sankiri school project, I pray that God touches you to give as He provides for you. We do not have uh, toilets, we do not have teachers' quarters. This is a semi-arid area. We don't have uh, accommodation at the centre and it's quite a distance, so it's not con uh, it's not um, favourable for, for our teachers. So we need to accommodate the teachers within the school, but we do not have the rooms. We need to have more classes, we don't have enough toilets, we only have two units, uh, but we need more. We need to level the ground. I think you can see the stones that are around. We need to make the place favourable for the children. We do not have water. We buy our water and uh, it's sometimes very costly. And as a way of mission, we can also, in case we get a bubble, it's possible to 
reach out to the community even with the water that God will provide. So thank you so much and may God bless you.